Hey everybody! Today we're going to do one of my favorite kind of coloring activities, tracing. I want everyone to go ahead and find a mostly empty piece of paper and then we're going to trace our hands. You can choose which one you want to do. Put your hand flat on the paper and grab one of your favorite colors and you want to trace your hand, which means lightly go around your hand with your crayon. When I trace, my crayon touches the side of my fingers all the way up and down each finger. Some people like to trace bigger where the crayon doesn't touch, and that's okay too. Remember, art is all about having fun, so make it your own. We are tracing our hand because we are going to help remind ourselves one of the ways that we can pray to Jesus. You know, God and Jesus just love it when we talk to them, and praying is when we do. Does anyone remember some of the ways that Jesus said that we could pray to him? Well, that's why we're drawing our hands, because there are five ways that Jesus said that we could pray to him. And we're not limited to those five. We can say anything to God we want. <laughs> but the five that are in today's Bible story are this. One, we can thank God. We can thank him for our friends. We can thank him for our family. We can thank God for mashed potatoes. He just likes it when we thank him. And who can we thank for everything? We can thank God for everything. What's the next thing we can do to pray? We can tell God what we need. God, I need some new tennis shoes. Can you help me get some new tennis shoes? God, I need a hug. I don't feel good today. You can always share what you need with God. You can also say sorry. God, I messed up. I made a mistake and now my sister is crying and I feel bad. <sighs> Other things you couldn't say sorry to God for too. Like, ooh, mean thoughts. Ooh, yeah, that happens. Say sorry about those. Can you think of any other ways that Jesus said we could pray? God, help me to do the right thing. You could ask God to help you do the right thing. My sister's crying because I took the toy that she was playing with and I really wanted the toy. In fact, I wanted the toy even more than she wanted the toy. That's why I took it. I don't feel sorry. I just want the toy. But you can ask God to help you do the right thing, even when you don't feel like it. God, help me to say sorry to my sister and give her the toy back. I don't want to, but I know you want me to, and I want to do the right thing. God can help us do the right thing. And the last thing we can pray, well, of this Bible story, is amen. God, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know you know what is best. Whatever you want, God. Amen. And amen is just a way of saying, God, you know best. I love you. I trust you. And amen is a fancy word that sometimes people end their prayers with, too. But it's just like saying bye, too. God doesn't care if you use really fancy words when you talk to him. He doesn't even care if you do the five things we talked about today. But if you want to pray and you don't know how to start, these five ways are so great because they help you decide what you want to say to God if you don't already know. But if you want to talk to God about lasagna or puppies or a broken heart, it doesn't have to be one of these five things. Remember, God just wants to hear from you and you can thank God. God for anything. God, thank you that you want to hear from us. We love you. Amen.